If you would like to make navigation of your Schoology course a little bit easier for your youngest students, what you can do is you can create a page on your course and if you have icons that represent maybe the days of the week so that you want the students to click on the day of the week and goes directly to the folder of work for that day, what you can do is you can hyperlink any folders of work that you have created in Schoology directly to these picture icons that you have inserted. Mind you, all of these pictures were inserted um, from pictures that I got on the internet. There's no clip art gallery built into Schoology. So what I'm going to do is, you can see below here, I have folders created for the students in terms of the work they're going to be working on each day of the week. I want the students, when they click on Monday, for it to go and open directly into this folder. So what you're going to do in order to hyperlink these two is you're going to go to the folder which you want to link. You want to right click on it and I'm going to click open link in new tab. So now I have a second tab open and you can see here now I am in this Monday folder and all the work is right there. The reason I'm opening it in a new tab is because this folder has a unique website address that I'm going to copy so that I can hyperlink it to the image that I want to link it to. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy the unique web address and then I'm going to come back over to my tab where my images are. In order to edit this, this is a page that I have created. I'm going to click on the little wheel next to it and I'm going to click edit and then I'm going to come down here to all of the images. So this is the image that I want to hyperlink to go directly to Monday's work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that image and then I'm going to go to link and you can see here it's asking me for the link. So I'm now going to paste it in here and then I'm going to click insert and I'm going to click save changes. So now when my students come to their course and I click on Monday, it's going to bring them directly to the folder with all the contents of the work that they're going to do that day. So you were going to repeat the same process for any other links you have. In addition to linking to folders that you already have in Schoology, you can also use this method to link to websites. So for example, here's the logo for Zern. So let's say I want my students to easily be able to access this website directly from our Schoology page. I'm going to almost go through the exact same process. I'm going to go back over to this page and I'm going to click edit and I'm going to come down over here to my Zern logo and then I'm going to click the link button and I have Zern already open in another tab so I'm just going to grab the URL which is pretty simple and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to insert it and then I'm going to save those changes. So now when the students come to the course and they click on this, it's going to go to the dir directly to the Zern homepage where they can log in. So there's a number of different ways you can use that hyperlink feature, but hyperlinking within your course can make it easier for your younger students to navigate throughout your course.